Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Nicole here from A Pretty Charmed Life. In today's video, I have a really exciting um, launch to show you. So today, Elf Beads is launching their late summer breeze collection. And uh, courtesy of Elf Beads, I get to share it with you on YouTube, all of these amazing pieces. So we will go one by one. There's a very special, special silver bead that you can probably see that I'm going to save for last. And then there's a special dragon bead that I'll save for the end of the glass ones. But we will start with glass. So let's get to this a little bit more focused so we can look at these in detail. Right here we have all of the glass beads that are launching that have the word Monet in it. And you can see most of them are very similar in design with the flower and the little swirls going through. This one right here is called Heritage Monet Donut and it has some pink flowers. You have like different types of little petals going through this one. So this flower is different than the rest of these. And it's got a nice little orange center. And that base you can see has some like really beautiful sparkle to it. This one is really beautiful. It actually reminds me or would pair really nicely with with one of the items from the Miracle Collection that recently launched. And then right here, we, let's move this one aside. Right here, we get into the ones that are very similar. We will again look at these one by one. So here we have Sun Kisses Monet. And it's got a very beautiful orange flower in there. And then again, you can see in the background, there's some sparkle. Let's go ahead and look at this on the side. Yeah, you can see it's almost like black stardust in there to help with that sparkle. Very beautiful. And then here, again, kind of with that same background, this one is the Jungle Monet. Nice green. I love how you can see like, it's like almost two layers of the flower. You have green on top of green. Next we have Forget Me Not Monet. It's a nice lighter blue against that stardust sparkle. I do not know if it's stardust, but it reminds me of stardust. <laughs> this one might be my favorite, but then this one also might be my favorite. So this one is Cosmic Blue Monet. So again, it's blue and then just has some darker blues in comparison to this one. They complement each other really, really well. It's almost like that lighter shade of blue matches the primary blue in this one. Here we have Violet Dream Monet. So you have a shade of purple in those flowers. Hence the violet. Oh, now my son is getting all weird on me. Hold on, let me close these blinds. <laughs> okay, so here's the violet one. I don't know how long that's been there, so sorry if it was, I'll find out when I'm editing how long that little sunshine was there for. And then this one is the old lavender Monet. So these ones, again, complement each other really well. This one, the violet is just a tinge darker, but you can hardly even notice the difference. So nice little coupling with these if you wanted one of each versus pairs. It's like close enough to where you don't have to have the same thing, but still look like a pair. And then again, here are the other ones. And then our little heritage donut one. I, look at him wearing orange. So I um, have been loving orange recently. It's so strange and I don't have very much of it in my collection at all. But I love to see that. You're gonna see um, Elfies has a few orange options in this collection. For those orange lovers, we got stuff for you. Now these next three items are gonna have the word flower pool in the title. And you can kind of see that each of the flowers is kind of laying on a little pool of something. So these ones are very similar in design, starting with this one again. So for you orange lovers, this one has a nice orange flower. And then I love that like 
nude peachy tone under it. I think it's just really unique and not something that's super common. Let me look at the side. It looks really milky. And this one right here is called Paradise Flower Pools. Next up, for those of you who really like the oil finishing, this one is like totally for you. And so is the next one. This one is Sea Oil Flower Pools. In between the little pools of flower, you can kind of see that oily effect. And then the next one is Ocean Oiled Flower Pools. So you can still see it's a different tone of oil. That one's more like silvery, see my reflection. <laughs> and then the flowers look a little bit different. Watch, I'll put these two together. Let me just kind of compare the two. So again, these three are flower pools. All right, and right here, we have fun little flower designs with some fun colors and some sparkle in each of these glass beads. I might be a little bit obsessed with this purple one, you guys. <laughs> Um, this green one right here is called Azure, A-Z-U-R-E. It's got some green in there. Let's go ahead and look at the side view of this one. Those flowers look so cool on the side. I love that. That's awesome. And then for my favorite one, this one is called Lavender. It's got a nice little green center in the flower kind of gives it a little bit more dimension it seems like then we have this right here which is kind of cream pale yellow colored on the inside with some like blush pink flowers and again that green center and this one's called candy it's so crazy. I just want to look at this one on the side again because it looks like the flower comes all the way to the end and it, I guess it, it does like, it's not fully on the center. It's like it is very 3D like in there. Sorry, I can't even get a good grasp, grasp of this. Love it. And then last one is Rusty. So this is purplish tones to here as well. And then in these flowers, you have a, it looks like an orange center. These ones are probably, I don't know. <laughs> I always like to think like, which ones are my favorite? No, nope, okay. The next ones are totally my favorite. I love these ones, but uh, I'm obsessed with the next ones. Okay, one more look and little spin of the rod with these beauties. Okay, while I love everything from this collection had i ooh, I almost dropped something here had i been an elf beats collector from the beginning the items that i probably would have been collecting are the flower fields anytime i've seen flower fields i'm like oh my gosh they're so nice i have one set of the blue ones and basically it's the flowers that are kind of painted on top and they have their little center is kind of 3d so this is the flower fields from the Late Summer Breeze collection, and I'm obsessed with every single one of them. You can see that these three seem to have that same sparkly base, while this one is um, more like a green translucent color. So we'll go ahead and start with this guy. And again, back to like this orange thing that I'm just super drawn to right now is Sunset Magic Flower Field. Fun little orange flowers, little white polka dots. We'll take a look at the side of this one. Very cool. I'll leave this off, so we're probably gonna take a look at the side of the next one too, just to see. This one is probably my favorite because it's pink and it is Flower Kiss Flower Fields. So you've got that soft pink flower. And I'm dying to see this one from the side. I haven't done that yet. Yes, all that beautiful sparkle in there. I love the base of this one so much. And then this one right here is a purpley toned 
one, and this one is Summer Night Flower Field. I think this one looks really, really good with that base. I kind of want to see if the base is different. I see multi colors in this one. Let's take a look at this one. Yeah, it almost looks just dark. That is gorgeous. So there's the Summer Night one. I can stare at these all day. <laughs> All day and then this beautiful green and this green is called grass fantasy flower field all the love for the flower fields right now there's so many beautiful things in this collection and um, I'm so thankful that I get to review these for you guys courtesy of elf beads because I'm like how would I even pick but uh, I mean what do you guys think? What has been your favorite so far? These next two aren't necessarily related, but I did want to just showcase them together since they um, are the only ones that are similar to themselves. <laughs> so these two, this one right here, we'll start with this one. This actually reminds me of that um, pools one because they have the flowers sitting in the pool and maybe it is part of it, but it's not in the name. So this one is called Lavender Flower Pebble and you have like pink and lavender tones in this one it's more of a pink flower sitting on a lavender background which is just gorgeous and i love like the center looks like a bubble like the center of the flower it totally looks like a bubble and from the side what does this look like yeah it looks like milky candy delicious <laughs> and then here we have the mystic dewdrops frost so those of you who like that frost finish i know that i was so intrigued when i first um found elf beads like that was the thing i wanted to know more about so these are the mystic dewdrop frost and it's like a really dark kind of eggplanty color in there but i do see like two different tones it's like almost a blue and a purple in there let's look at the side of this Reminds me of like a foggy night or something. All right, and one last look at these two together. And with this collection, there are two new World Fractal beads that came out. And there is so much sparkle in both of these. Uh, we'll take a look one at a time. So following that kind of orangey, um, the orangey theme, we have this one, which is called Galaxy Garden World Fractal. And you've got some orange and yellow flowers over like a green sparkly base, which is really pretty. These ones like amaze me because there's just so much going on on these ones. And then right here for all the purple lovers, this is Sunday Fantasy Flower World Fractal. A really beautiful beautiful lavender flower on a lavender base with some sparkle both of these are really really gorgeous and I know that these don't necessarily fit on um, the bangles so now that the new bracelets are available and in stock um, these are perfect for those all right you guys and I said there was a very 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 special glass bead I did not know if we would ever see any more dragons but oh my goodness there is a late summer dragon in this collection and it's amazing and it's beautiful and it's perfect and I have no other words to say about this I love everything about this little guy it is amazing it's amazing i don't even i mean do you have words for him he's so cute and so amazing we'll take a look at the side of him or her whatever you want your dragon to be uh the color is perfection i just i mean look at that face it is so cute. So yay, thank you Elfies. Thank you Mila for making a dragon and picking the perfect colors. Now we'll move on to the silvers and we'll go ahead and start on this end over here. And this 
right here. It's probably one of the most fabulous music notes that I've ever seen in a silver bead. One, it is big. Like it is a nice sized bead. It's like as big as my nail. <laughs> and so one, it's called Song of Butterfly. And as you can see right here and right here, there are butterflies on here. Oh, it's just gorgeous. I, I can't wait to design with this. This is a beautiful and amazing and I have no words again because this is gorgeous. Next is another like barrel style bead and this is the ginkgo barrel. So you have the little ginkgo leaves on here. It just reminds, and I think late summer is like, I don't know why this reminds me of like a late summer vacation. <laughs> So there we go, there's this barrel bead. And then we have this bead right here, which is Bed of Roses. So you have little rosebuds in here with some leaf detail. And if it's laying like this, it kind of just looks like a bed of roses. That's really, really pretty. Nice floral detail, the leaves on there are amazing. This one right here is, it's called Windmill. And now I can finally see the windmill in it now that I'm filming it. But it was just so like abstract and gorgeous to me. And I absolutely, absolutely think this is an amazing, it's a tremendous silver bead. It's beautiful. Called windmill. It would go really, really nice as a centerpiece. And then we have another floral silver bead here. This is called Mystic Peony. And this would also work well as a centerpiece. I feel like that's the case with like all of these. Like they would go really well as a centerpiece or even opposite each other. They're just very similar in shape and size. And I think it could be very cohesive or work perfectly just on their own. And then we have the spacers. The ones on the outside are called summer waves. And then the one on the insides are called Music Spacers. These would complement um, the Song of Butterfly really, really well. And then again, Summer Waves. I'm, I'm all about the music stuff in this collection. Okay, now saved the best for last. This right here, you guys, is Mila the Caterpillar and uh, yeah, Mila, because this bead, um, I first saw it when Elf Beads announced that they were under a new owner, which of course is our one and only Mila, and this represents her and her beautiful children that I've had the pleasure of meeting in person, and they are amazing and adorable, and befriended Presley, and it was so fun, um, but isn't this amazing? And I cannot even tell you like how heavy this is. Like this is a big giant chunk of silver. It's for me, this is like a piece of art that there are things that I have that I just put on display and I don't necessarily wear them, but I love silver. Obviously I'm a collector and this is definitely something that I would put on display like 24 seven. Um, it's just, it's crazy. It's an amazing, amazing piece of art. And if, if you're familiar with the barrel beads, like you'll see, like this is, this bead is not messing around. It's gorgeous. It's amazing. It's special. It represents, um, I mean, I'm, I'm sure for Mila, but for me, it represents, you know, her fulfilling her dream of um, becoming the owner of elf beads. Oh my goodness. Let's take a look at the back of this. Too. Oh my goodness see heavy did you hear that clunk <laughs> there's the back of it it's so adorable I'm not gonna lie it also reminds me of a bug's life which I think is amazing <laughs> or um the California Adventure and you know the Disney parks used to have a bug's life area they don't anymore I think that's what they I think that's whatever this isn't a Disney <laughs> video but you know what I mean okay so there we go this you guys is the late summer breeze collection it launches today it's available on elfbeads.com um 
probably a Beats Candy Shop too, actually. But um, yeah, there you go. I want to know what is your favorite of everything. Drop a comment. Let me know if you're getting anything or if you've already got something. And if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. We love to have you. Thank you all so much for watching. See you all next time.